Hello everyone, I'm Chris Erickley and welcome to the PE Crime Blotter Extra. We're taking a look at day one opening statements from the Earl Ellis Green case. Ellis Green is being charged with the murder of Ryan Bonaminio, a Riverside police officer that occurred back in 2010. I'm joined now by the Press Enterprises, Brian Rokos. Brian, you were in court today. The big question, not, uh, not a matter of guilt, but rather first or second degree murder. Right, if there was any doubt that uh, the defense was going to try to get an acquittal for Earl Ellis Green, it ended today when uh, the Deputy Public Defender Gail Lorraine stood up in court and said to the jurors and everyone else that Earl Green murdered Officer Ryan Bonominio. So the tactic now is she is seeking a second degree murder conviction. Uh, the prosecution is seeking a first degree uh, murder conviction and they'll want to get a death penalty along with that. So the defense is hoping for second degree murder uh, that would eliminate the death penalty and the task now for the defense is to put in the minds of the jurors some mitigating factors of Earl Ellis Green that it was not the cold-blooded cruel murder that the prosecution contends. And definitely some compelling testimony from the start this morning we had Stephen McQueen. All right, Mr. McQueen uh, is a homeless man. He did work at a church nearby uh, Fairmont Park where Officer Bonominio was killed. Uh, he heard uh, Bonominio ordering Green to stop. He saw uh, Green uh, hit Ryan Bonominio raising a pipe and hitting him three times with a pipe. Uh, he also testified that as Officer Bonominio rose after getting hit with a pipe that uh, Green shot at Bonominio three times uh, missing the first, probably hitting the second and definitely hitting the third. And after the lunch recess, also uh, McQueen's fiance gave some witness testimony as well. Right. She was actually in the bathroom at the time. It just so happened that they returned to the church because she had to go to the bathroom. It was just kind of an odd uh, happening, and that put them in a position to witness this. And she was in the bathroom, and, and she heard what her fiance saw, and that's what she testified to. And then the uh, testimony wrapped up with Sergeant Carla Harlan. Uh, uh, Harden of the Riverside Police Department uh, testifying that she and other officers uh, discovered uh, Bonominio's uh, mortally wounded uh, body there in, in Fairmount Park. All right, Brian, thanks for joining us. That wraps up this edition of the PE Crime Blotter Extra. Be sure to check here, right here on PE.com, for the rest of the Bonominio case.